okay so now I have connected my PLC programming cable it is a normal USB 2.0 programming cable and it is connected to my uh, you know laptop USB port as well so if I zoom in over here if I show you the cable this is the cable right so I have simply plugged it like that and it's good to go <coughs> if I go to the software software part you can simply download the so software from this link select the PLC and from the software category select this PLC editor because I'm using LX3V so uh, I can simply use this one I don't have to use this one uh, hi everyone in this lesson we are going to program our week on PLC using its software so let me just check if it's recording yes let me open vcon plc editor so this is the software which is uh, completely free it is hardly uh, 118 mb i believe it's available for free on vcon website i will share the link as well so it has a layout a mixture of uh, delta wpl soft software or fatag win pro ladder right uh, we can read write plc from over here uh, monitor the PLC or uh, uh, online edit the logic from over here uh, we have simulator available as well I can click on simulator and test my logic verify with PLC diagnostics and they are ladder functions and then on the left side we will have some instructions as well that we are going to see uh, the project manager instructions this would be visible once I select the PLC if I go to new my PLC is LX CPU, PLC series, PLC type is LX3V and I am choosing ladder, long, ladder logic for now this is the only function available I'm not sure if they have the advanced version I feel they had one more version on their website which might have multiple languages available but I have not te tested, tested that so everything is available as you can see all the instructions, timers, counters, move everything available on the left side we have pro program manager which is really cool so that uh, I can see my program structure comments different parameters and device memory uh, uh, there are different functions avail available for subroutines interrupt statement and then I can simply drag and drop the instructions as well other than that I have information input search PLC verify cross ref reference to search some bit right and there are some clock settings over here okay so the most important step would be after selecting your PLC model go to transfer setup I'm using my USB cable as you can see in the video I'll do connection test and it says successfully connect I'll say okay and then I can create my simple program I'll make a logic of x001 and then choose a coil y001 so input and outputs are labeled as x and y which are absolute addresses right if i name it in human form for example uh input one output one that would be symbolic addresses so these are absolute addresses these are similar to what we see in mitsubishi plc's right further i can take uh there are short keys as well or i can select from over here and guess i'll select from over here and then i'll compile my program the gray area would uh be removed automatically i have to save save the program program one and then if i go to write to plc this window would pop up i'll select everything write comments parameters main although i haven't put any comments but it's all right i'll click on execute yes and my program has successfully downloaded in my plc it says PLC is ready to drop. I'll click yes and it would run. You would see the run indication on PLC as well. So now let me put this on mon monitor mode, right? And go to my PLC. So as you can see, if I connect my common pin over here, so my input is on and my two outputs are on as well. You can see on the indications on the PLC as well and on the software as well. So we have successfully created our first program 
and tested it on our week on PLC. Thank you.